Welcome back everyone, it's Fresh Bottle Friday once again, and we have got another bottle of the Remus Repeal Reserve, this one being Batch 5, the 2021 release. If you would look back, we did do, I believe, another Fresh Bottle Friday on Remus Repeal 3, and we liked it, but we weren't blown away by it. So I was kind of like, you know, this is, Remus is running in that $80 range in most places, 80 to 90. Is that what this one was? 90 bucks. But after being talked to by everyone on Whiskey Tube streams, they're all saying Remus 5 is the best Remus that's come out. There's a couple people that are saying Remus 3 is better, which I'm like, oh, I don't know, because <laughs> like Remus 3, is, it's fine. It's, it's good whiskey, but it wasn't like, I was like, wow, this is a $90 bottle of whiskey, you know? Right. But the credentials on this Remus 5 are pretty impressive. Remus is an MGP whiskey. It's like their house brand named after George Remus. Straight bourbon whiskey at 100 proof. The 2021 medley has got 9% 2005 bourbon, 5% 2006 bourbon, 19% of another 2006 bourbon with a less rye content, 13% 2008, and 54% 2008 with a higher rye. So it's old MGP whiskey, high rye content on a lot of the parts of this blend so that makes it pretty interesting and you said this was highly acclaimed by whiskey connoisseurs <laughs> there's people that are on their like fourth or fifth bottle of this already of this yep at okay. 90 dollars. yeah 80 okay. to 90 bucks the hype train is rolling for the remus well that smells fantastic the nose is nice really soft Caramel, like a milky caramel. Carameled apples. You're calling apple as well? I think so. Yeah. yeah. Maybe a little like uh, apple peel more than the fruit. Like a red apple though. Or the Not smell. Apple. The smell of being at a place that sells apples. Like Bowers Market. Like yeah. Classic. When you're just in a just a room full of apples. I like that smell. I do too. Almost a touch of like a toasty marshmallow. You think so? Yep. I was going to say there could be some, like, baked goods or something in there, but, like, I could see, like, a freshly toasted, right off the fire, yeah. golden brown marshmallow or something. Yeah, you didn't burn it. You give it a light toast. A really welcoming, sweet-smelling bourbon. Um, very soft on the nose. Smells thick. It envelops your sinuses. It's not like a thin smell that cuts through. It's more of a, you know... It's a warm and welcoming smell. Let's jump in and taste it. All right, clink them and drink them. Cheers. There's a lot to unpack there. Yeah. There's a lot of flavors just kind of all up front, too. It's like they're all clamoring for the front of your tongue. First thing I tasted was actually char. But then that soft caramel just washed over it at the end and really took over. It got sweet. You're saying soft caramel, which I do agree with, but I was kind of almost getting like... Some of those some more notes. I'm talking like the honey graham cracker with the milk chocolate element and a lot of the roasted, you know, golden brown marshmallows. It doesn't drink like it's 100 proof. It drinks more like... No, I would say it drinks like 100 proof. There's a little bit of a tingle on it. I think much like three, this is a pretty just basic representation of bourbon, of just a really well done bourbon. It's not throwing you any curves really. It's just, this is what it is. We've got a little bit of Remus three here. So I just want to side by side with a little splash. Do a Remus three versus a Remus five. A Remus rewind. The nose is much more faint on three. hundred percent. Yeah. Like I was saying on the five, the five, has that more warm and like fills up your nose. Three is much more thin and cuts through. But similar, more corn on three too. Smells a little drier too. On the taste, three is much more bitter. And I will say that I think I like five better. I think it's more robust, well-rounded. I think the flavor is much more complex and I like the elements of that milk chocolateiness that pairs with that graham cracker and marshmallow thing I was talking about. I personally, at 80 to $90, don't think I would buy three again, but I think five is one that I would seek out. And I understand why people are, as you were saying earlier, three to five deep in this particular bottle. Five is just much softer. I think it's just blended really well. 
Yes. Absolutely. I think five is a clear winner for me between these two. It's going to have a much more of a mass appeal. I can see why people say they like three better. You might say that maybe three to you has a little more character, but five is just so pleasant. Yeah. To drink. This one is worth picking up. I'd say a hearty recommendation from both of us. So if you had the Remus 5 or any of the previous Remuses, let us know which one's your favorite. Is it the 5? Is it the 3? Is it one of the other ones? If you haven't yet, hit like on the video. That helps us out more than you'll ever know. And subscribe to the channel because we are here every Wednesday. And then uh, sometimes on Friday. From the Western Wisconsin Whiskey Emporium, for ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next Wednesday.